Did you know your blender can be used as a juicer and that your coffee grinder can double as a spice grinder? Learn more ways to get the most out of your appliances with Chow Tips Appliance Edition. Your coffee maker brews great coffee, and as we saw in the last video, it's also great for cooking breakfast. As it turns out, you can also use it to prepare a complete dinner. Place cut up broccoli and cauliflower in the basket where the ground coffee normally goes. Then run a full pot of water through the coffee maker. For crisper veggies, one cycle should be enough, but if you like your vegetables a little softer, refill with fresh water and run again. Next up is boxed rice, which is just as easy. Place the rice and any seasonings into the pot and then run the amount of water specified on the box through the coffee maker. Once all the water is in the pot, let the rice finish cooking on the warm burner. Poaching salmon in the coffee maker might sound complicated, but it's actually quite simple. In your coffee pot, mix two tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of white miso paste, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one half cup of sake, one teaspoon of salt, and a few slices of ginger. Then place one portion of salmon into the pot, skin side up. Pour just enough water into the coffee maker to ensure that your fish will be totally submerged. Run the machine, and once all the water is in the pot, set a timer for 20 minutes. When the time is up, remove your fish and garnish with scallions and a squeeze of lemon. You might be worried that this tip will make your coffee pot smell fishy, but when we washed our coffee pot out with hot soapy water and then brewed a pot of coffee, no fishy odors or flavors remained. So now that you've had dinner, it's time for dessert. Pour a cup of heavy cream into the coffee pot and heat it on the burner for about 10 or 15 minutes. Meanwhile, break up or chop 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Once the cream is hot, just stir in the chocolate until everything is nice and creamy. Slice up some bananas and strawberries and you have an easy and romantic chocolate fondue. And finally, if you want a little caffeine boost with your dessert, find yourself a cafe nearby and get a nice coffee to go. After cooking a four-course meal, you certainly deserve it.